So this is how you're going to be putting the um, spokes into your basket. You're going to poke one of these 10 inch long reeds in here and you want them to stick out two inches on the bottom. You have to do this quickly because you don't want your basket weaving material to dry out. It should be wet when you're using it, otherwise it's just gonna break. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these through. I've measured my first one. I'm just gonna line up with the rest. If this does start to dry out, We'll have to soak it. You do not want to get your base, which is this wooden thing, wet. So I'm just going all the way around. And the reason you're working with the materials when they're wet is so that they will actually bend instead of breaking. All right, so I've got my 11 spokes here. And now what I'm going to do is take one and I'm going to weave it around and then behind, just like that. And then I take my next one and I weave it around and then behind. And then I take my next one and I weave it around and then behind. And I'm going to keep doing this all the way around and you kind of have to hold it as you go. So this is what it looks like on the bottom right now. But I'm going to re weave it around and then behind. So if I'm looking at it from the bottom, this is what it looks like too. And they start to kind of fall when you do that. But at any rate, you're gonna take this one, you're gonna go around it. Oops, I need to pull that out a little bit more. Around it and behind. And the reason that you're doing this is because you're trying to lock it all in place. So I'm going around and behind. Now you can see some of my spokes are starting to fall in, so I'm just gonna pull those back out. I do wanna make sure I stick with my two inches though, so I may have to remeasure some of those. So again, I'm going around the front and then behind it. Around the front and then behind it around the front and behind it. Around the front, and then you're kind of tucking that in there. Okay, I'm going around the front of this one and I'll have to tuck it back behind it. Like that, so when you get done, you should have a bottom that looks like this. And that's gonna be the bottom of your basket. And then you've got spokes sticking up like macaronis from the top, okay? And that's how you know your base is ready.